Hey guys, hope everyone is good. I hope everyone had a good Christmas and a good New Year. We are already kind of like far into this month, but it's been a while since I've made a stone painting video. So I've been really wanting to put this video out. One, because I wanted to put out another stone painting video. And two, I realized that all my videos, I speed them up really fast. So like you don't hear me talking. And plus when I get stoned, like I lose track of what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much why I chose to not talk in my other videos. But I figured for this one, it could be more personable and you guys will be able to get to know me and yeah we're gonna do some bob ross shit i have two bowls loaded one in this cute little bubbler i got i haven't picked out a name for her yet so if you have any names go ahead and leave them in the comments below but i have some fire og loaded in this one and then i have betty the bong and she is loaded with some shortbread cookies if you've never had shortbread cookies, you are missing out. It is freaking delicious. If anybody is curious, I like to use um, Master Touch paints. I don't get the big ones just because all my paintings are on really small canvases, as you can see. So when I use painting, when I use paint on these small canvases, I just use the small little guys. I got these at Hobby Lobby for like $18, I think, and like it comes with all these crazy colors. You can see them on the side right here. I love Hobby Lobby like I could spend my entire life in that store. Just walking around, seeing all the shit they got. All the shit that I could make myself but decide to pay Hobby Lobby for. Um, brushes that I use or I'm going to be using, it's the fine touch brushes. I really don't know much about brushes or like good brushes but my husband's a tattoo artist and so like he knows about this art stuff plus you know Bob Ross I don't know what Bob Ross has to do with anything but Bob Ross color and this one and this one and this one oops and I don't know we're just gonna we're gonna make a pretty nighttime sky I'm going to take this brush and we're gonna paint the outsides right here like a dark this dark purple, it's a, oh, violet. We're gonna paint the outside violet. So I wet my brush just a little bit. Just a little dab will do. And get some paint on there. And I'm gonna paint the outside. Wanting to just like work on the outsides here because this is, this is gonna be our darkest color that we're using for our sky. If you add water, like I said, it'll help spread it out just a little bit. So actually really quick, I'm just going to draw the mountain outline right here with the moon. That way I know not to paint, not to paint like over that. You can see that you can kind of see that but this is gonna be what's in the moon and the mountains and I told you guys I'm awkward okay okay this is enough for the first layer because all of this white that I've left right here is gonna be for the other colors and I'm gonna like transition them into each other. That way it looks like like a cool sky nighttime thing. Use this brush, you can see that. And I'm gonna go in with the second darkest blue that I'm using, which is lake blue. 
And then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go in it like this. I'm, and I'm like circling it up into the purple. That way it's like blending in with that violet color. Make sure you make sure your brush is wet too that way it helps blend it I'm not a professional okay like, I literally just do this to amuse myself it feels for me like painting is therapeutic I love art and I always I've always loved art I feel like if I would have like taken art serious in high school, I would be like fucking Bob Ross Jr. over here. Fucking, fucking making happy little trees and shit. Ah! It's getting wild, guys. It's getting wild. Okay, so I'm taking this brush and I'm using I, I honestly don't even know how to say that color. Viradian. Bring it to the moon. <laughs> Basically, I'm like outlining this moon. Because I'm gonna blend it into the darker colors up top. The reason why I'm using a lighter color next to the moon is because it's gonna the moon is bright and so gonna be brighter here and then darker up here. just did up here I'm gonna blend this into that that blue that little blue color This brush this is what I'm doing I wet this brush and I'm just like going back and forth like this blending all those colors in together like a fucking boss it's like <laughs> and if sh and if you don't like the way something looks like you can acrylics are awesome to work with and I like them because you can work in layers like you can add as many layers of acrylic as you want you can fix any problem that you have. It's just really awesome. You can just have fun with it. Get creative. There's no bad mistake, just happy accidents. As old Bobby would say. Ooh, that looks cool. galaxy shenanigans look at that it's like a cool little misty cloud I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit Now, now, I'm gonna show you guys some crazy shit that 
that I learned from. Honestly, I don't I don't know where I learned it from, but yeah. Wait. Just get a little bit. with my silhouette down black. Any specific videos you guys are interested in seeing me do, um, let me know because I don't know. I just really love smoking pot. Like my entire life revolves around cannabis. talking to people that also smoke pot and share the love of it. Also, like, I'm all for the medical benefits of marijuana. Just, well, mainly because I personally use it medicinal for medicinal reasons. Um, and family members of mine use it for medicinal reasons. And it works. It works a whole lot better than what, you know, gets prescribed to you by some doctors. It's not to say that you shouldn't listen to your doctors, but like, for me personally, I made a personal choice to self-medicate and I feel fucking phenomenal. I feel fantastic. Look at these mountains here. Drawing, I'm gonna work on the moon. So what I'm gonna do is I don't have oh I do have a gray. So I'm gonna mix this gray because this gray is really dark. And I'm gonna mix it with white. Grab this little brush. Honestly, like, I used to think it was so satisfying to watch Bob Ross mix the paints on his little palette with his little knife. He all scrapes it. He's all... <laughs> it just looks really cool. <laughs> The 
tip. <laughs> and wherever the light would be, that's where I'm gonna put the highlight.